How you doing? How am I? I'm doing good. Boy, there is. I'm looking right at a Collector Classic right here. All right. And when I say that, I mean right here. Collector right. Classic. Hey, Brad, can you sharpen a license plate to cut a potato? Well, of course I can. It's pla uh, Excuse me. It's aluminum. And uh, so... Ooh. Not. All right. So, so no. No, I can't. <laughs> um, so it's hard to hang on to, but let's. Uh, I got to get it figured out. What's the easiest way to do this? So, oh boy, that uh, that cut. Do you want to put on a glove or anything? Are you so, good? Uh, yeah, let's do that actually. Um, Just for your hand's sake. That's what pockets are for. I got to get ready here to do surgery on a license plate. Just like that. It's easier to hang on to the license plate, I'm sure. Now, if I was going out golfing, which I don't do. I've only done once in my life, and someday we'll talk about that because it was hilarious. The ball never went where I thought it was going to go. And then I lined up as 175 yards, par 3. My buddy says, really concentrate, line up on it, hit it as hard as you can. And he says, it might go 70, 80 yards because I, I don't golf. I lined up, I took the time, I smacked that ball, and it was still in the air at 175 yards, went right over the pin, whatever, the hole, and went right out in the woods. And George looked at me and he goes, that's why I gave you the old balls. <laughs> His next up, smacked it, went out in the water, and I said, George, is that one of the old balls? And he goes, no. And we laughed over that, had a lot of fun. All right, so let's tear some metal off here. I'm not going to push too hard because it will make it chatter. I'm going to push it. Let's see if this works at all. I don't think it will. No, that just that, chatters. Yeah. That grabs. I was hoping it might. So we do that. And this is going to take a little while because... It's hard to hang on. To. I'm losing grip on it. It's really smooth. All right, so just like that. Well, that came from your uh, 72 Pinto. Yeah, yeah. And uh, why do I know so much about so many things? <laughs> um, my brother-in-law, my ex-brother-in-law, had about a 1972, probably. Uh, seven, no, I got married in 73. So I'm thinking like a 75 Pinto, and he actually put a 460 Ford in it. Oh my God. He chopped the uh, axle, the, the rear differential, you know, and put some really big slicks on there, tubbed the, the fender wells, and there was only maybe two, two and a half feet between the inside of those slicks, big suckers, with that 460 in it, and that pinto, I mean, just touch the gas, let the clutch out, and it would just sit there and burn the tires. All right, this is... All right, what the hell's going on here? Now we got a handle. I like that. What the hell do we have going on here? Oh, and she says, please throw that for me. <laughs> and the aluminum chatters really bad, but there is a sweet spot right in here. So that, I'm going to let it chatter, hit the sweet spot, and then uh, that's what I'm going to see if it's sharp enough to slice a potato. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now this is really actually funny. Uh, I have a strong desire, you know, you see that the advertisements on, on, on television and on YouTube and all that stuff about the Japanese knife cuts any, uh, I have to laugh, he says, cuts right through anything. Yeah, I really doubt that. 
And anyway, they, they brag, brag, brag about how sharp it is, what it'll cut, and the way it slices. I'll be absolutely honest with you. I'll work on this a little bit more. But my license plate, for crying out loud, made out of aluminum, cuts like that. <laughs> And I'm not pushing hard. Okay, so let's work a little bit this way. I know I'm going to get a comment that says, What is that little red tool you're using? Yeah, well, you know what? Why don't you just keep wondering? Because I'm not going to tell you. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't tell them. I'm not going to tell you that it's don't, a sharpened... Don't! Nope. Not going to do it. Okay, let's rip it this way a little. Like that. Alright. Won't play with you. See, and then if I was captive and I needed to be secretive, if I could get that license plate sharp, I'd bend it, bend it, bend it, and I would break it this way, and I'd break it this way until all I had was about an inch, okay, about an inch by three inches. Well, if you're in the trunk, you just reach up and you do the door latch and you push the trunk open, you reach down and grab the license plate, grab, pull the license plate up and then pull it back and you sharpen there it and then kill the captures. Wow. One of these days we're going to do a fun video. We're going to take my knives, all right, that I use at the shows and stuff. Some of them are pretty thick, and they're not super thin, Japanese knives, whatever, and we're going to do a video. And what I'd like to do is run that video with our video going, stop it, and then make a comparison of my knives on things like they're doing, not just to run them down, but... It really irritates me when they have these uh, videos for advertisements that are, are a lot of BS, okay? But it's a good sales program, right? That potato's getting thick, so if we come over here, we can do that, all right? Do that, right on around. We should That's make, with a, a license plate. We should make hash browns with a license plate. You know, we could do that. We could actually just go in and wash these, throw them in a pan. And uh, so we do this. With a license plate. <laughs> I know. This is Brad having some fun, Colorado. Uh, I don't know. You'd have to put some paper around it and mail it out. But uh, for 10 bucks, uh, let's say 16.95, and we'll pay the shipping. For 16.95, I'll sign it, date it, and uh, you look and see what the numbers are. Okay, Colorado. And for 16.95, you agree with that? Sure. Okay, I'll sign it, date it, and uh, we'll sell this <laughs> license plate that I sharpened. For $16.95 to the first person who says, I'll buy it, pays for it, and we'll ship it out. This is Brad, having a good time. You take care, and you stay sharp out there. I actually have a license to do this. <laughs>